What's up guys, it's Chachi Power here. Uh, today I've got a very big box here in front of me. And I'll give you a sneak peek as to what it might be. It's a gigantic box. Star Wars. Um, so here's the story. I was on my motorcycle. I ended up stopping by this place called Zap Comics over in Wayne, New Jersey. Uh, haven't gone there in years. Uh, but, I, you know, of course I figured I should stop by and see what's going on. Uh, they had a bunch of cool stuff. Really cool. So if you live in Jersey, definitely check them out. Um, anyways, I was in there. I walked in. I saw a few things that I liked. And then towards the back of the store, I saw something gigantic and something Darth Vader related. So I immediately grabbed it. Uh, the price was uh, $49.99, which for this is actually pretty good. I haven't found it anywhere else for that price, but it must have been sitting there for a while. It's from 2002. Um, it's this. It's the Koto Bukia um, Snap Fit Vinyl Darth Vader. It's a 1 7 scale, which uh, for Darth Vader means it's very big. I can't really be in the video with this box at the same time, but. Um, it's a nice box. It's big, sturdy. Check out the back. The uh, back has the actual figure here, standing. It's a fixed pose. Um, I guess as as I'm growing older, I'm kind of liking. Uh, I'm not going to say statues. I still, I kind of prefer for some reason vinyls over like uh, the kind that can fall and break, but. Um, and I don't have a lot of statues. I have a lot of vinyl stuff, but no statues. This would be the closest thing to a statue, but it's still vinyl, so it's still cool with me. And it's not going to fall and break. Um, I think what Koto Bukia does is uh, to try and get around the whole licensing stuff for making uh, statues and whatnot. They actually make this a kit. But kit meaning like you just attach the head and the arms and the cape. And that's enough to be considered a kit and get past the... Uh, excuse me, got something in my eye, get past the licensing issues, or so I've been told, uh, to be able to bring this. So $49.99 gets you this gigantic box of the big Darth Vader figure, which is not in here, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that right now. So here he is uh, out of the box and here on my shelf. Now, this is indeed huge. I can't even put it in any of my display cases. So I pretty much have him hanging out in the living room. Uh, so you'll see this is just a wonderful, wonderful piece. Uh, believe it or not, it's vinyl. It's not made out of any of that uh, crazy polystone crap that uh, breaks apart and stuff. And you'll notice the base is actually the uh, carbonite chamber thingy. It's actually nicely detailed and weathered. Uh, it's plastic, hard plastic. And I believe the slots here are clear. So if any of you are imaginative enough, you can actually... Um, set up a couple of LEDs underneath which I probably may do for display so that would look really nice and the figure pops in here with the help of uh, two pins there's one there and another one right here at the top I had to hammer them in because uh, the vinyl was tight but once it was on there it's on there and again uh, I'm just astonished by this uh, sculpt most of the Darth Vader's are on are very tiny and it's very hard to see the sculpt and you know, with my old eyes and all, but this, I mean, this thing's like, what, 13, probably 13 inches tall, uh, I don't have a ruler with me, nothing to scale it to, but it's, it's just amazing, it's, it's, uh, it's a nice leathery looking finish where it needs to look like, uh, leather, uh, or sort of like a matte satin, and then it's glossy where it needs to be, the cape is a soft vinyl material, uh, he's got the skirt here, which is a tad harder than the the cape here, but I'm sure it's the same material. It's got a nice matte finish compared to the rest. The gloves up here, if we move up, are a nice glossy black. And the shoulder covers here are painted a... I'm not going to say silver. It's more of a bronzish tone silver there. Uh, the controls here for whatever, for his breathing apparatus, are nicely detailed. The belts are detailed here, glossy helmet, just looks really great. The eyes are black, um, they're not made out of a uh, different material in there, doesn't look like it just, looks like it's just part of the, the whole sculpt. Um, I don't know if it's going to be easy to see, 
I don't think so. But it's detailed underneath to look like the helmet pops off. Uh, when Vader takes his helmet off, you can actually see some, you know, uh, gadgetry back there or whatever, uh, electrical thingies. Uh, that's um, able to be seen under the helmet. Unfortunately, because of the space constraints I have here, it won't be possible to show you. And as far as putting the uh, kit together, it was easy enough. The uh, head pops on rather easily. Uh, before you do even put the head on though, you got to put the cape on because the head fits right over the cape area. Um, then you got to put this arm here, which um, I wasn't careful. Not that I wasn't careful, but I put the arm not down, but it was facing up, so it looked really awkward to me at first. Uh, and then I put this arm, which was very hard to pop in. I had to take a hair dryer to it and pop it in. And then I said, that's kind of weird the way his arm just sticks up. doesn't make any sense. So I checked the box out. And then I realized that he's supposed to be holding the cape, which is, I think, really, really cool. And the last bit that needs to be put on is the lightsaber rod here, which is a, made out of a candy clear uh, red plastic. It goes right into the hilt there. Now, the thing is, uh, it had a slight bow to it out of the box. I had to take a dryer to it. And it still sort of has a slight bow, but it's, it's not enough for me to go crazy over. I mean, it looks great on display. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the back here. You'll notice the back is... Uh, textured and on camera it looks a little more glossy than it does on the actual figure. I'm looking at it through the camera screen and it looks really shiny but with uh, my own eyes on the figure it's a uh, matte finish. I don't know how that comes out like that on camera but just so you guys know it's not as shiny as it looks even though there's reflection and everything it's actually uh, more of a matte finish than it looks like on camera. I would have liked to put this on a rotating display but it'll probably just break it. It's halfway broken anyway but uh, We'll just use the tripod here to show you the rest. Then we'll take a look at the other side here. It just looks great from all around. Um, there's a there's a, another Kotobukiya kit that uh, I did not like. It's because he's in a crouched position. It's just totally not very Vader-like. This is um, not him standing still. Although there's a there's a smaller art effects. I believe it's a 110 scale, if I'm not mistaken. Um, that just has him standing in the position that you would like to see him. Um, but this one's not too bad. I mean, he's not going crazy. He's just really just holding his sword up to his chest and holding his cape. So I think it looks badass enough. And that's going to be it, guys. Thank you for joining me in this uh, small review of this fantastic figure. You'll probably get it on sale. I think uh, original price was over 100 You probably can get it around 70 80 bucks, Or if you're lucky like me, uh, less than 50 So... If you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave them below, guys. Until next time, bye-bye.